What's your next one, Zach? Okay, my next one is the conjuring quiz, and that'll finish us up. All so. right. Final one. What game did Roger and Carolyn daughters play in the beginning of the film? I believe it means Carolyn's daughters. Carolyn's daughters play at the beginning of the film. Hide and clap. Yes. First clap! And it's not going to tell you if you're right until the end. So. Okay, but I know that's correct. Patience. I say patience. What kind of toy did April find when she moved into the new house? Did April find? Oh, um, it was like a little, it was like a little mirror music box thing. Music box is an option. What's the other options? Red rubber ball, doll, teddy bear. So all of those things are actually in the movie, but it was the music box. Okay. Third question. What was the profession of the young women who first owned the doll? Did they mean woman? No, women. There were two. What was the profession of the young women who first owned the doll, Annabelle? Nurses, stewardesses, waitresses, models. They were nurses. Okay. That is an option. I mean, we're nurses. We help people. Where, number four, where did Carolyn first meet Ed and Lorraine Warren? At the, they were like at a speaking event. Or so, what are my options? Carolyn met Ed and Lorraine at a local college, at a church in her new town, at a local coffee house, or when they came to her house. It was the, the college. Okay, that is an option. Number five, what did Roger Perrin do for a living? What are my options? Plumber, carpenter, electrician, or truck driver? Oh gosh. Um, Name a blue collar job. So say him again. Plumber, carpenter, electrician, or truck driver? Uh, I don't know. Um, hang on. I'm gonna say a uh, an electrician. Okay. I feel like carpenter would add some Judeo-Christian elements, but okay. More so than there already are. Yes. Let's sprinkle that in. Which one of the Perrin daughters was a sleepwalker? I think it was. I think I know what it was. Yeah, but say their names. Andrea, Cindy, Nancy, or Christine? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I don't. I think I remember. I, I remember the sleepwalking one. I remember them saying their name. So. I remember the sleepwalking one was the one who was calling for Nancy, so mm -hmm. it's not Nancy. Mm -hmm. Nancy. Nancy. What are their names? Andrea, Cindy, Nancy, or Christine? Uh, I'm gonna say Cindy. That's what I think. What happened to Nancy while she was in the living room with her family and the Warrens? What happened to Nancy while she was in the living room? Yes. She was thrown out of the room feet first, dragged around the room by her hair, Picked up by her ears. She was dragged out of the. Wait, wait. Picked up by her ears or what? Sorry, I didn't know. Picked up by her ears and thrown out a window. Oh, wow. Or pulled out of the room by her legs into the basement. She was dragged by her hair. Okay. How did Bathsheba die? Well, I don't think the Bible actually goes into that. In this movie. Oh. So, how did she die? She hung herself. Who played the role of Lorraine Warren? Uh, oh, I know. It's Vera something. It's Vera Farmiga. Yep. If I'm saying that right. Who directed this 2013 film? James Wan. John Carpenter, Kevin Williamson, Wes Craven, or James Wan? James Wan. James Wan was correct. And then they offer some really biased opinions in the little 
in the little spot down there instead of just more info. About James Wan? Yeah, it says, James did an exceptional job with this film. It reminded me a great deal of his film, Insidious. Both of these films absolutely scared me in a way that I have not experienced in a long time. Agreed. James does not use blood and gore to scare you. He uses more of a psychological aspect to scare you. The scene in the basement where the ball was thrown absolutely terrified me. Uh, you couldn't mm -hmm. see who had thrown the ball, but the fact that someone could be there was horrifying. He used a lot of things like this to make his movie scary. The film was number one in its opening we weekend. It beat out several higher budget films to take number one spot. You got nine out of ten. The ball part wasn't that scary to me. Neither was the part where the... the well, hands his... clap behind your head. So you scored 9 out of 10. Average score was 7 out of 10. So you scored 2 points higher. And his good. parting words, the maker of this quiz, um, is... This film was one of the scariest I have seen ever. It had a stellar cast and a great director. Please check out some of my older quizzes in this genre. Let's do it right now. Do it right now. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That was All quizzes. Right. We did fairly well, I think. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll, I want to do this again with other things. Yes, we um, could do like a, a set uh, quiz a day. We could. All right, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.